Hey guys! Well, I am here and this is my second Facebook Live. So I'm pretty excited to chat to you all. And I have been actually pretty good lately. Like my pregnancy is going well, everything is going to plan. I'm seven months yesterday. Um, so today was really fun. Poor connection. Oh no, here we go, we're back. Um, so today I woke up at 10.30. I really, really couldn't believe that. Um, I think I'm just getting to the point where I'm just sleeping a whole lot more now and uh, just not getting up at, at 7 a.m. unless I have to. <laughs> so you guys can ask me whatever you want. Just ask away, questions, questions, because um, this is what this is all about, getting to know me more. Um, hello, Betty from Galveston, Texas. Hi. <laughs> oh, I see Chloe. I see Chloe a lot. Mallinson. Hi. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Just honestly, as I said, just sleeping a whole lot more, trying to still get to the gym, um, just trying to just keep active and keep going because, you know, it's getting to the point where I'm getting a lot bigger. Like I feel in the last week, he has gotten, like, I feel like my stomach has expanded like this much. So, and people tell me all the time that each day from now on, you are going to feel like super, super big and just, it's just going to keep growing. So, oh, it's super exciting. Um, yes, I am totally enjoying the pregnancy. Um, it's, I think I've been pretty lucky actually, because I only was a little bit sick in the beginning when I was dancing with, um, Niall. And then after that, I kind of went on tour with Max and Val for a bit and that sort of subsided and everything from here on out has been pretty, pretty good. So fingers crossed it continues that way. But yeah, we have to go back to New York um, soon after Dancing with the Stars is over for Max. We'll go back and we will um, set, up, set up home there. You know, that's where our, our house is. So... It's going to be exciting. Um, what is your fave thing to eat? Well, right now it would have to be pasta. I think I want spaghetti bolognese every single day. Um, I don't have it every single day, but um, I'm trying to sort of not give in to these cravings too much because if I had my way, I would eat fries every day um, because I am craving fries right now and then it's strange because I'll, I'll crave just like a five-star restaurant food just I want artichoke salad I want grass-fed beef at night and so Max goes and gets that for me which is really sweet um, what else worst thing about being pregnant um, hmm I would this is a little TMI but I'll probably say my boobs getting so big because I feel like they are massive right now and it's really funny because we just laugh about it all the time. We try to sort of contain them a little bit because we don't want them to go everywhere. Um, but I feel like they just grow every single day and as I said, we just joke about it. Every, it's like the joke around the house right now. <laughs> um, will you be back next season? Um, I hope so. You know, I think it will be pretty difficult to do that because you know I will have a one and a half month old child so that's going to be a task in itself but you know I think that I will be able to do it I think that I'll have you know a lot of help and I want to get back into dancing I want to get my body back I want to get my fitness back and just sort of get back out there and perform and um, I think if I I don't really want to keep it for too long you know I could definitely miss next season as well because you know, I'm a new mother, it's a one and a half month old, I'm going to be, why is that reconnecting all the time? Oh, it's back. Um, yeah, so I hopefully I will be, and you know, they want me back, and it's just, it'll be, it'll be a fun journey to go on, I think. Uh, how is your Russian lessons going from Rachel? Um, pretty darn well. I really love it. I'm doing two lessons a week. I am learning so much. I feel like, um, the, there's 33 letters in the Russian alphabet, and let me tell you, they are not 
easy and some of them just look crazy and they're even harder to write so I'm not only learning how to speak Russian I'm learning how to write and and read um, so I kind of sat down with my teacher first and the first day I said listen I just want to speak it I just want to know what people are saying and she looked at me and she's like she just shrugs her shoulders and she just said well that's kind of silly because you need to know all the letters you need to know how to pronounce every letter and um, the sounds and everything so I just said okay what the heck let's just do it so I've started from the very beginning and um, <clears throat> it's really fun I love it it's it's it brings me back to my childhood actually when I learned um, Italian and French so it's great uh, what lipstick am I wearing from Elaine this is I think this is this is a matte color. I, I pretty much only use color is incredible and how they sort of go on is is just really really smooth. I like it. Um, who will be the baby's godparents? Well, we haven't really decided that yet. We haven't even thought about that. I think that will be one of the uh, last decisions that we make. We have a pretty good idea who it will be, um, but it it is actually really exciting because I love my godparents and I'm um, a godmother to my friend Jillian's baby in um, Australia. Uh, is Max at practice right now from April? <laughs> he is not at practice, he is having a couple of meetings. He's um, with the Dancing with the Stars crew to design his new dance with Amber. So I think they have Cha Cha this week. Um, Crystal, are you planning on a big family? Um, I think so. I mean, you know, I definitely want two children, probably three, um, but we've spoken about this so much, and I don't think it's going to be like bang, 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 because, you know, I really want to, you know, get stuck into my career again and keep doing the things that I love to do. So um, I want to be an amazing mother to our little boy and still be able to um, you know move forward with all my dreams and aspirations too so I think we'll, we'll probably keep like a couple of years in between each child. <laughs> um, is it hard watching your man dance with other women on Death in the Stars? Um, no you know what that is a funny question because that that article came out um, yesterday about Amber and I like fighting and it was it's wild um, as to what they can actually print and how they can actually print utter lies and false allegations and things that you know it said in the article that I was banned from dancing with the stars practice so it was quite funny um, but no um, we do not have a problem I do not have a problem because I've done this forever myself and you know I have to dance with men of all shapes and sizes and ages and you just sort of get what you're given and you have a job to do and you have to be professional and that's sort of how it goes. Amber is such a cool chick. She is amazing from the first day I met her so we just hit it off and um, there is no rivalry whatsoever. Uh, you are glowing. Thank you Chris. What lotion do you use? Um, well I have been using Kate Somerville products lately on my face. Um, I feel like they're pretty natural and also Josie Moran. Um, her products are really, really natural. Um, so I actually had to clean out um, all of my products from my bathroom um, when I first knew I was pregnant because everything has chemicals in it. Everything has something that will affect the baby some way or could affect the baby and you know I just didn't want to take any chances. Um, who would be your dream celebrity partner from Caitlin? Um, I always say this, but I think John Stamos would be a really good one because he has acting, singing experience, performance experience, you know, all together. So I think if you get somebody like that, you are pretty, pretty set for the finals, you know, usually. And that would be that would be pretty awesome because it's always nice to get somebody that can perform with you, you know. Um, what else? Who are you closest with from Dancing with the Stars? Um, you know, I think my friends have become my family over here. Well, absolutely, they have. 
Um, Shana on the show, as you all know, is uh, my best friend, and she is incredible. I love her. We've known each other for a very long time now, and uh, she will be in the bridal party, which is super exciting. And um, yeah, I mean, as you know, Val's Val's my Val's my brother, and my brother, my actual, my real blood brother, is over here right now. Um, he is um, finding a job in LA, so I feel like I'm surrounded by a lot of family. It's really awesome. Um, did you expect to fall in love? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think it was just kind of meant to be with us, actually. Um, I don't think I expected to fall in love, uh, but he was not the person that I thought when I first met him on Broadway that we were going to end up together. Absolutely not. Um, but just so happens that, you know, opposites attract and, um, yeah, it's kind of a crazy question, but, um, Shano needs to win that mirror ball. Yes, she does. <laughs> that would be nice and just amazing for her. She totally deserves it. She has worked so hard for so many years on that show. And, um, I feel like she she deserves it you know she has an amazing partner James is doing so well right now he is absolutely killing it and you know their dance last night was incredible he the tango his frame was so good and I you know props to her she she you know sometimes we don't even have that much time to get this together sometimes we have three days and it honestly is three days People think that we're exaggerating. People think that, oh, no, the show makes this stuff up. But we, it, the show doesn't make it up, honestly. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And so she did such an amazing job. And um, I'm, I'm so proud of her and so happy for her. Um, what else? What has been your favorite Dancing with the Stars night theme? Um, well, I love Disney um, just because of the costumes and how much you can really tap into the character that you're playing. I feel like some of the other knights aren't as character driven, so you may be wearing an amazing costume, but you don't get to like really act it out and really get all the set design and all of that cool stuff that you guys see. Um, Disney night, definitely. And my, my favorite one was my dance with James, um, the Frozen dance that we did. That was incredible. I had the best time with that dance. Um, what else? You need to be a guest judge. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I would love that. Um, just to get a, get a chance to be on the other side of, of, of the show and to not to judge people or anything like that, but just to give my opinion and to, to see it from their perspective. Sometimes it would be a good eye opening position for me. I think, yeah, it'd be awesome. Um, what else? What is your favorite dance style? I would say Argentine tango. I, I love that. I mean, I love everything um, from, you know, I love the samba. I love Argentine tango because of the fact that it's so passionate and you get to really, you know, embrace your partner and to be so connected with them. You know, I feel way more connected in Argentine tango than I do in, say, a cha-cha because cha-cha is like fun and cheeky and you guys aren't we're not always holding each other the whole time. It can be very freeing. So, Argentine tango. Uh, what else? Make guest parents on the tour coming up. Well, I don't know about making guest parents. I mean, I, I would love to, and I surely will miss doing the tour this time. Um, but, you know, I will be super large by then. <laughs> and I will be very round and um, I don't know if I'll be able to move or waddle by then um, and yeah either that or I'm gonna have a very young infant and I don't know if that will be uh, viable but I will I will be maybe at the New York show say if I'm you know if all goes well and everything matches up uh, have you picked out a name for the baby we have 99% so we we found something that we really love, um, and I can't tell you because you know I mean then it will be everywhere. But 
I love it. We both love it. The families love it. So it works with having a very long middle name and a long last name. So we're, we're happy. What is your favorite place you have traveled to? Um, I mean, for a vacation, I do love Hawaii. I do love Maui. I feel like it is um, a place where I just have no worries, no cares. I can go there and I just love the tropical atmosphere of it. It's, it's just got such a nice community when you go for a drive around um, all the different um, little little cities. It's just, it's stunning. I love it. Um, and then I also love Paris. Um, we, I've been there once or twice now, and I, I really, the, the culture of it, the food, the people, I, I just, I fell in love with the place. So we actually were going to go on a, on a holiday, um, before Max decided to take Dancing with the Stars. We were going to go to Greece and do France and drive down the coast, but, um, yeah. We didn't end up doing that. We, we're going to hopefully do that in um, next year. Uh, what else? Who's going to win this season? <sighs> you know, Val and Laurie are incredible, obviously. Uh, she is such an athlete. She is such a performer. And, um, you know, last night their Paso Doble was incredible. She is so fast and so intricate, and she just really knows how to work her body. Um, Val is incredible with his teaching ability, with being able to show the most precise movements to his partners. And um, he he really does do it all. You know, he, he trains them from rumble walks up until the point where they can do a, a, a beautiful flowing waltz. He, I don't know, I think... It's hard to say who's going to win, but I think it's going to be out of Val and Laurie and Shana and um, James. And, you know, that that's awesome because that's my family up there and um, I couldn't hope for a better final. <laughs> um, yeah, I miss being back on Dancing with the Stars too. Um, yes, we are having a boy and um, we are really, really super excited about that. We... we Max first said that he wants a girl, and I was like, really? Do you really want a girl? And then he changed his mind that he's very happy that he has a boy because we found out that uh, many people, all of our friends has been, have been saying that girls are just a little bit harder to handle. And boys, you know, love their mamas, and I can't wait for that. It's going to be the best. I can't wait for when he comes running up and wants to hug mommy. Um, okay, so three more questions, and then time is up. Um, okay, do you have anything that you're excited to pass down to the baby? Good question. Um, hmm. Maybe not anything physically, uh, physical, sorry, but I'm, I'm excited to be able to show him the world. I'm excited to teach him everything that I think is valuable in life. I want him to be, first and foremost, a great person. I want him to be kind. I want him to be loving. I want him to love animals. I want him to be brought up in the most loving environment. And I really feel like we have that. Um, I, you know, Max and I are great. Our families are great. I think it's just going to be, um, this little boy is going to have the best of everything. <laughs> okay. Two more why the sirens? <laughs> yes, um, I don't know, but it's a beautiful day today. There's lots of sirens happening in the background. Um, I hope everything's okay, though, because it's kind of scary. Um, who was the first person you told you were pregnant? Um, Max, obviously. I, I phoned him, and it was it was funny because he. I think you guys know the story. He was in Vegas on a golf trip, and I had to tell him in front of a car full of dudes that he was going to the golf course with and he sounded actually quite weird on the phone when I told him and so I was like why are you why aren't you that excited and he's like babe I'm in a car full of dudes I don't want everybody to know this this is really private and I was like oh okay I'll call you back soon so that was that um all right
guys, that was awesome. Um, thank you. You obviously have some great questions. I love it. And, uh, you know, <laughs> most of them about the pregnancy and that's really cool. Um, but yeah, everything's good. Everything's going to plan. Um, actually one more thing. So we saw, we saw his face the other day, um, on the, the sonogram and he is so cute. He's so beautiful. We are just so excited for this kid. So anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will do another one soon, sooner than later.